Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Pogash, uh, founder and owner of The Cocktail Guru, and this is another episode of Some Good Booze. We try to do this show, we try to do this show every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 5 p.m. So thank you for being flexible and for joining us at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hello to everyone who's on Facebook joining us and everyone on YouTube. Um, there has been a lot going on uh, recently in current events, and we want to make a note that we stand with everyone who is out there um, for the cause and we are with the cause and we are with you. Um, we have some resources that we've posted, that I've posted, um, that I've also been looking into and reading up on and sharing. Uh, it is in the comments section here so you can check out some resources um, to end violence and to end racism. So uh, again, we are with you. Um, thank you for everyone who is out there, everyone doing uh, whatever they possibly can. and. I have been doing uh, quite a bit of research and um, donating as well and um, trying to educate myself and my family. Um, I wanted to honor uh, some famous African-American mixologists throughout this week. And so we have one that we are honoring today, Cato Alexander. Uh, so we will make one of his signature cocktails and I'm very, very excited about this. Um, we do talk about positive news. There is also positive news out there and positive changes and someone who, uh, invoked a quite a bit of positive change um, is Barack Obama. And this year in, or this day in history, folks, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Barack Obama became the first, the first African-American to emerge from a primary season of any major political party, capturing the role as presumptive nominee for the president of the United States. Uh, he beat Hillary Clinton for the, um, for the uh, presumptive nomination in 2008, right? Okay, good. So everyone who's here joining us, please definitely comment and say hi. Um, I would love to see your comments. What's happening today? Are you drinking anything? Are you uh, doing anything? What are you doing today? Um, but so let's get into cocktails here. Um, Cato Alexander, I wanted to honor and every day this week will honor a, a famous or well-known should be more well-known than they actually are, um, African-American mixologists. These are forefathers to our industry, and we honor them. So Cato Alexander was born in 1780, died in 1858. Uh, he was born into slavery in New York, uh, he, and he gained his freedom right around 1811, we think. Um, and then guess what? He opened up a roadhouse just three miles from New York. Um, this was uh, 54th Street and 2nd Avenue at that crossroads. A uh, really interesting story. Uh, he bartended and then he owned his own bar, believe it or not. Um, and so th there was a gentleman, a great Irish actor, and I read up on this, a great Irish actor named Tyrone Power. Um, he is the original, <laughs> not the movie star, but the original Tyrone Power. Um, he summed up uh, Cato Alexander's mixological accomplishments by saying this, and this is a very interesting quote. I love it. Cato is a great man, foremost amongst colors of mint, colors of mint, whether for julep or hailstorm. That was an early name for a mint julep, apparently and unaccountably. Um, second to none, second to no man as a compounder of cocktail and such a hand at a gin sling. So Cato Alexander was very well known for his gin slings, his punches, and his eggnogs. Also for uh, the cocktail that we are making today, the brandy milk punch. So we're gonna make a variation on Cato Alexander's Brandy Milk Punch. Shall we do that, folks? Okay, good, here's the Brandy Milk Punch cam. Um, okay, so first of all, we start with our brandy. So I actually have cognac over here, um, right? All cognac is brandy, but not all brandy is cognac. So let's go ahead and put two ounces of our cognac into our mixing glass, just like that. And I'm using condensed milk, and I like using condensed milk in cocktails. Um, it is already sweetened, obviously, and it has a really, really nice flavor. So I'm putting, now I have already here, not, look, look, look at that. It is beautiful, great flavor. I have uh, an ounce of condensed milk, and I'm putting that right into my mixing glass. And folks, that is it. That is it for the brandy milk punch. And does this drink look and sound familiar to some people? It does to me. It kind of looks and sounds like the Brandy Alexander. And a lot of people say that the Brandy Alexander wasn't invented until the early 1900s, uh, right around World War I, and that it was named after another Alexander. But I personally think that the Brandy Alexander could have been named after Cato Alexander because he specialized in these brandy milk punches, which is essentially what a Brandy Alexander is. 
So we'll shake this cocktail, shall we? Yeah. Oh, I love that sound. That, this is a really nice creamy, decadent cocktail. You can use any dairy product you want. You could use a non-dairy product if you'd like as well. And we'll just strain this right over our big cube. And garnish, of course, is very important. So for the aromatics, and this is what Cato Alexander did, uh, we did some, we do some freshly ground nutmeg and some freshly ground cinnamon. There we go. And folks, that is the Brandy Milk Punch a la Cato Alexander, uh, a forefather of mixology, an early African-American mixologist that we definitely need to know more about and other African-American mixologists. So we'll have one tomorrow as well, a cocktail dedicated to a wonderful mixologist. Um, cheers, everyone. I, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, take a sip of this. Oh, Fred, hey, Fred, hey, Kelsey. Fred says, sounds like a New Orleans brunch. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Let's give this a little taste. Mm. It is such a beautiful, simple cocktail, refreshing, believe it or not, nice and creamy. I love the aromatics, that cinnamon and nutmeg on top. It is great. Brian's here as well. Hey, Brian, cheers. So thank you, everyone. Don't forget, in the comment section, I posted a link to some resources uh, for us to uh, read up on information and donate uh, to the cause. And please continue to... Uh, Fulfill the cause, folks. Fulfill the cause. Um, so thank you, everyone. Uh, cheers to you, and have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow. Time change, everyone, so stay tuned. It's, it won't be at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Live. It'll be, I believe, uh, about 6 p.m., but we'll double check. So check back tomorrow, folks, will you? Okay. Thank you very much. Cheers.